So the kind of data that you would be able to see within this would be your negative search terms, your positive search term, negative ASINs, positive ASINs, your target optimization, your bid optimization, your auto to manual targeting and your target improvement. We have classified all of these into separate categories depending on three factors. As an Amazon seller, I'm sure you're already aware that Amazon PPC is a great business solution for you to increase your visibility and boost your sales on Amazon. Having said that, it requires constant monitoring and adjustments to make it very effective. And as a large scale seller for whom time is of the essence, this is not something that is very doable on a daily basis. This is the inspiration behind Seller Apps Advertising Dashboard and if you are new to Seller Apps Dashboard or are looking for an easy to use ML powered advertising platform, this is the right video for you. Today we will be discussing about the insights tab on our advertising platform and I will help you understand how to make use of this data effectively for you to scale your business. Before we start, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of our amazing tutorials going forward and let's get started. So if you want to learn a lot more about our advertising platform, do click on the card that popped up now and here's a nutshell summary for you that Seller Apps Dashboard is basically a platform that helps you customize your PPC campaigns to increase your profitability and boost your sales. Both sellers and brands use this to create a basic nice foundation for their brand because the advanced PPC tools we offer such as auto to manual targeting as well as high converting keywords, bid optimization as well as negative keywords and negative search terms these help you make the most of your advertising budget and grow on Amazon. To sign up for our platform, you can definitely check the link in the description and that will lead you to signing up on our platform for free. And let me know in the comments below that what do you think about the platform that we have. Now let's understand how to make the most use of our insights tab. First of all, I would like to explain that all the features and all the data that is available on our insights tab is based on the fact that how is it contributing to the sale of your products. So the kind of data that you would be able to see within this would be your negative search terms, your positive search term, negative ASINs, positive ASINs, your target optimization, your bid optimization, your auto to manual targeting and your target improvement. We have classified all of these into separate categories depending on three factors. How do they decrease your ACoS? How do they increase your visibility? And how do they increase your ROI? So for example, negative search terms and your negative ASINs will help you figure out how you can reduce your ACoS. Your positive search terms as well as your positive ASINs will help you figure out how to increase your visibility. Target improvement, auto to manual targeting, bid optimization are all based on the fact that they can help you increase your ROI in the process. To get started, first of all, you need to log into your seller app dashboard. Now go to your advertising tab. Within advertising, you can choose insights as your option both from the left scroll bar as well as from your dashboard itself. And voila, here we are at the Insights tab and now let's look at every sub feature and figure out how this can help us grow and scale. So the first feature that you will see here is your negative search terms. These are the search terms which are irrelevant or non-converting for you. And as I mentioned, this is focused on your ACoS optimization. We don't want any of your money being bled on any of your PPC campaigns which are not so effective for you. So what happens here is you get two kind of ad types, both your sponsored product and your sponsored brands. In sponsored product, you can mark search term as negative on ad level and on a sponsored brand, brand type, you can mark, it, mark these as negative on a campaign level. All you have to do is mark it as negative and it will get converted into a negative exact keyword which will be reflected in your ad type or your campaign level. And going forward, you can also do another thing. You can ignore a particular search term that will prevent it from showing up for the next seven days. In order to classify a particular search term as negative, we take two factors into accord. The first is your target ACoS. So if a particular search term is taking up more than your ACoS that you have defined, or is taking up more than the default of 50% ACoS, it will be marked as negative. Second thing is how relevant it is. So if a particular search term is performing or underperforming as compared to the other search terms, it will automatically be termed as a negative search term. The other insights about your negative search terms that you would also get within this feature would include your campaign name, your ad name, your keywords, your order, your sales, your click-through rates, your cl cost per click, your advertising cost of sales, your ad, ad clicks, the number of clicks, the number of impressions, as well as your cost per click. So your positive search terms would be the bang opposite of your negative search terms. 
These are the search terms which are performing exceptionally well for your campaigns. You can use these to track and create better visibility for your product going forward. Now what really happens as a seller is you want to increase the organic sales and organic visibility of your product. Initially of course you would be investing in paid advertisements but the long term goal is of course to increase your organic growth. When you look at your positive search terms which are outshining the others, you can use our product intelligence feature to track them and ensure that your organic growth for them keeps growing over time. Again, similar as negative search terms, the key insights that you would be getting here would include your campaign name, your ad name, your match type, your keyword, your order, your sales, as well as your cost per click, your click through rates, your ad spend, your advertising cost of sales, etc. So the next feature here is your auto to manual targeting. Now, when it comes to auto to manual targeting, this helps you identify the right keywords for your campaigns. So as everybody says, on Amazon, 80% of your campaigns need to be manual while 20% need to be auto. Having said that, auto campaigns are highly underrated because they will give you a lot of data which you would not otherwise know regarding the impressions of your search terms. And what you can do going forward is take this data and convert it into a manual campaign for better optimization going forward. Also, a lot of this data will not be available to you if you are going through manual keyword research or using keyword tools for you. So how keyword harvesting from your Amazon automated campaigns is a great way to find the right keywords for you to optimize your PPC. Now the idea is to find your high converting keywords from your auto campaigns and move them to your manual campaigns by clicking on the action column. What this will do is it already has selected move to manual by default and once you click on it, it will set the default bid for it as the same as the entire ad group. Once you've made the selection, it will mark it as negative so that there is no wasted ad spend at all. You can also select your campaign by clicking on select campaign and ad group. Other insights that you would have available regarding this would be your clicks, impressions, your advertising cost of sales, your click through rates, your cost per click, your order and sales, etc. The target improvement feature helps you target your audience more precisely and accurately. You can use this to find your high converting and high performing search terms and refine your target audience by finding and narrowing your match type. For example, if search term A is performing well and is a phrase match type, we would suggest you to move it to exact so that your targeting becomes more refined and you spend less amount on your advertising. So you have less ad spend over there. Other key insights that again you will be able to see about this feature would include the keywords, clicks, impressions, click through rate, cost per click, advertising cost of sales, ad spend, orders, sales, etc. Seller apps bid optimization will find you the high converting and high volume search terms for you with the suggested bid using our powerful ML algorithm and will suggest you to convert those into an exact match type to reduce your ad spend. You will be able to see the exact impression growth that a particular seller will get out of making these changes in the top right hand corner under the exact impression growth tab. To edit your bids, all you have to do is click on the edit button on your suggested bids column and if you want to make bulk changes, go and select select all and then after you do that, click on create and update bids. Lastly, let's talk about positive ASIN and negative ASIN. As you must have already figured, these are pretty similar to positive search terms and negative search terms, with the exception of the fact that these are product targeted as opposed to keyword targeted in your search term process. So positive ASINs helps you identify the ASINs which are getting the most sales for you within your niche. All you have to do is find and track these ASINs in order to increase your sales as well as keep your ad spend under budget. All you need to do for all of this is click on track ASINs and voila, here you are. Negative ASINs on the other hand will be able to help you find your irrelevant ASINs which are not getting a lot of traction for you. All you have to do is click on these underperforming ASINs to mark them as negative and that will help you save a buck on your ad spend. So that's all I wanted to talk about in terms of our insights tab on our advertising feature. Quick reminder, you can click on the link in the description below to sign up to our platform and have a look at the advertising platform for yourself. There is, any, there is no better way for you to understand the benefits of a platform than by using it yourself. We really appreciate all your love and support towards our growth and I would remind you to like, subscribe and share this video and please comment any in-depth video topics that you would like me to cover going forward. Until next time, happy selling!